Hey everyone, it's Nat here. In this video, I'm gonna do one of my yoga routines for my lower back, and it's one that I uh, follow along with with a woman called Adrian. I'll post her YouTube channel on the screen right here. Uh, yoga with Adrian is uh, the name of her channel, and uh, she's really funny and quirky, and she's she does a really kind of light uh, yoga routine. It's not too serious, and. Uh, she has a lot of followers, a lot of people like her. And so if you're looking for uh, someone uh, new to follow uh, for yoga practice, then check out Yoga with Adrienne. Uh, she's pretty good. And so anyway, basically, I'm just gonna do like a high-speed version of it, uh, sped up, and I'll do a little bit of critiquing over top. Um, little disclaimer, obviously, I am not a professional yogi. My form isn't awesome. Um, you're welcome to criticize my, my, my moves and my flow if you want, it's all good. But um, basically watch Adrienne, what she's doing in uh, some of her tutorials, and I'll kind of hack my way through. But uh, as I said in my last video, yoga's been really good for my sciatica, for my back. It's obviously just good uh, to you know help keep limber, to strengthen, and all that sort of good stuff. Obviously, there's a number of different types of yoga. I don't claim to be a you know professional or know all the you know things about all the different types. So you know try out a few different types to see what works best for you. But anyway, this is uh, old man yoga and me hacking my way through it. Enjoy. All right, so here I am and uh, just gently squeezing my uh, knees towards my chest, uh, not pulling too tight, to not trying to you know get uh, too crazy with it but uh, just basically rocking back and forth uh, from side to side. And then as uh, doing here, doing a little bit of circles uh, both ways, basically just to massage the spine there. Uh, in this one, looks kind of silly <laughs> when I watch myself doing it, but uh, obviously laying flat on my back and then uh, kind of rocking up onto my spine, massaging the, uh, the base of my spine there. Um, she was instructing me there to actually to roll up uh, and again massaging your spine as we were going there. Uh, it's too intense for the pain that I've got. Um, here, this one basically, you know, sitting up straight and then, uh, you know, of course on the exhale, uh, bending over. And uh, when you can hold that position and uh, do a couple of breaths, then it really helps to just get a little bit extra stretch. Uh, this here is the cat cow, which I really like. Of course, this is all sped up here. I'm not doing it that fast normally. I don't know what this one's called, but uh, basically it's for... Jeez, uh, I can't remember if this is the hamstring, this one, if I remember correctly. But uh, basically my hands are a little bit uh, sort of off of center there. Uh, and then this one's stretching back was super, super tight on my butt. Again, everything sped up a little bit here just to fly through it. So you want to make sure to be doing both sides, obviously. Stretch one side and then stretch out the other side. Breathing deeply. The breath definitely helps as much as you can. And that one looked like it was tight. God damn. <laughs> So here, uh, Adrian was instructing me to uh, keep my knees bent. Um, I can straighten my legs out, but uh, yeah, it's good just to keep your knees bent and just kind of bending over, letting the weight of your head just hang. And then of course you can let your arms hang down like that as well too. And uh, so yeah, laying flat on your back is always good here. Now this one, basically you wanna have your knees out to the side. By the looks of things, I probably could have my knees a little uh, straighter and higher up. And uh, you're turning your head and your neck the opposite way, obviously. That's a good stretch on the lower back on both sides, then alternating. Looks like my back's getting a little tired there, so my form's getting a little sloppy. But uh, either way, it's doing its thing. And uh, this is my favorite pose. I like to call it sleepy time pose. Just laying flat on your back on a hard surface feels good. And into child's pose. 
So having your weight set back as far as possible will help to open up your hips, which feels good. So hopefully you got something out of that. Obviously, you know, I'm not a professional, um, but the good thing is, is that, you know, you can just go at your own pace and, uh, you know, like anything when you're starting out that you might not be very good at it, but if you stick with it, you'll get some benefits from it. And of course, you'll get better as you continue along. So if you're new to yoga or been thinking about it, definitely get out there and try it. I really enjoy it. It's good for a number of different reasons. I've definitely seen benefits from it. So get into yoga if you haven't already. And uh, as always, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet or started following me on Facebook or whatever, you can do so at all the links right beside me right now. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in tomorrow's video where I'm going to talk in detail about the breath work that I've learned from my good friend Robin and just how cool it is. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.